Hello and welcome to Deck Decks with Lady Lavinius. In this one, we're going to be looking at a deck called Thieving Ultimatum. Now, Thieving Ultimatum is, as you guessed it, an ultimatum deck. Uh, it has plenty of the ultimatums and uh, uses some of the new cards. Thieving, widespread thieving. It is a three mana enchantment with hideaway five. It says whenever you cast a multicolored spell, create a treasure token. Then if you pay Werberg, uh, if you do, you may play the exile card without paying its mana cost. Um, so the idea is to be able to pay and play some of our really high mana cards uh, for much cheaper, just for five colored, different colored mana. Uh, we also have a meeting of the five in the deck, which is a Werberg and three colorless sorcery. Exile the top 10 cards of your library. You may cast spells with exactly three colors from among them this turn, and then add double Warburg. Uh, spend this mana only to cast spells with exactly three colors. So the idea for Meaning of the Five is to be able to cast any of our ultimatums, Ruinous Ultimatum, Genesis Ultimatum, or an Inspired Ultimatum. We also have Zakama Mama in case we need to just cast her with uh, Meaning of the Five. And then we also have an Ulamog to put under Widespread Thieving. We have plenty of ways to loot out cards to be able to find, you know, the things that we need. Uh, with Faithful Mending and Prismari Command. Um, we have, as you notice, everything is multicolored. So, um, because we are in five colors. And uh, so hopefully we get our widespread thieving and be able to create a lot of treasures so that we can cast everything that we want anyway, even if we have to hard cast it. Um, so everything is in multicolored so that we can get a treasure on it if we have a widespread thieving out. Um, this is a lot of fun when it works and uh, we're gonna play some games and hopefully get some good games going. Great. Let's get started today. All right. So we're going to be looking um, to get some of our ultimatums going. Uh, we see a Runus here. There's a meeting. I don't love this hand. Double check lands and some of our top ends. So we're going to mulligan that. All right. This is much better. Um, we can put one of the Ruinous Ultimatums back, and we have a Widespread there. We do not have uh, any white, however. That's okay. And, uh, still get our Widespread Thieving. Oh. So I've started to learn that a uh, good game at the beginning of a match is, uh, have a good game. That's what I've tried to start, you know, learning. I'm gonna believe that that's what they said. That's what I believe. Uh, probably a ruinous ultimatum on inside. What does this even do? The permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn, create a 1 1. Nice. They do have a lot of enchantment removal, so this widespread thieving might not even st stick on the field. Go Root Coil Creeper, which at least gets me a treasure. That treasure is going to let me be able to at least play the Deafening Clarion. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six with this. One, two, three, one. Ah. Eat hook? He's dead? It's okay, it did its job. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can actually make seven and get Genesis next turn if I do this. Oh, wait, because I do need oh, white, so no, that, that's not gonna work. That just refunds it. <laughs> okay. There's another widespread thieving. Uh, 
Uh, this time we get an Ulamog. Um... I think I have to do this just to set up. We just kind of waste one. That's fine. That refunds me, gets me one. Or, or, actually, I can save it. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five. So I actually can get one of these out next turn. If I save the Deafening Clarion until I'm fully untapped. And a deadly dispute. Um... I think I kind of want this one out. Get the Ruinous. Or I could just go with the Ulamog, but... Okay. That will refund it so I can at least get a Genesis. Or I can just get the other one. Alright, let's get our Genesis to get us more lands. Well, that's pretty good. I would- I would say that that's- that's pretty good. I have Zakama Mama, so I could always just kill this. Right, but the Ulamog is pretty scary too. One, two, three, one, two. I'm one short. Okay, I think we just do damn or sorry, we're just gonna destroy this first. We untap. Um, I'm gonna do this. Doesn't actually matter, but... It's two things there. Decline, decline. So... Oh wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry opponent. Here. Five damage. Another widespread. I don't actually need an Ulamog. It is legendary, so I can't actually use it. We're just going to attack. Okay. I was like, at this point, I think it's over. We're just going to attack. Um, you got to see kind of a, a little bit of what opponent had. They were blood on the snow type thing, but I didn't actually weirdly need this Ulamog because I got it from our uh, Genesis ultimatum, which did do work. <laughs> but you can see we could also do meeting of the five since um, we ha still have one, two, three, four. You guys can't even see. Five, six. But I'm going to move myself over here for the rest of the video because enough. Hi. Um it just gets it gets going a lot. So that's kind of the deck where you're just gonna get a lot of value, especially if you have multiple um thieving highways out, you just get more and more value.
Uh, what? Try again. Hey. So hopefully we can find our thieving and, uh, find some hidden stuff. Okay, so there's an Ulamog in this opening hand. It's not ideal for us. We do have the Prismari command, which is the only reason I'm thinking that I might keep it. We can always toss out that Ulamog. realize that we didn't have actual anything else to be able to play these. Paradise Druid from opponent, though. Hey! Uh, okay, so I'm at least getting that. I'm getting the Prismari command out on three. Kinda nice. But I wouldn't go for the Deafening Clank. Uh, it's both Ulamogs. I think I just want to slow him, try to slow him down a little bit. Didn't get that. If I get this, I can do both. Or I can just hold this and wait for the Deafening Clarion. Well, it's too late now. I'm going for both. I did already shock myself, so that's fine. It'll also let me go Faithful Mending, or if we need to, um, I can literally just ramp up into an ultimatum. If we draw- we happen to draw one, so I think it'll be okay. Hey, speaking of... Hey, not find it. Great. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, we do have a ruinous ultimatum though, so that's at least something. They're using their druids essentially as their mana because they haven't really found a lot of mana. Okay. Um, thankfully we got to six, so the world tree is online. So even if they kill all of these things, we'll still be able to ultimate them. Like, creeper, my face, what would you like? All right, looks like they're gonna go with the Golos. So because they have these, they can actually activate the Golos. Um, they need... To put in a land now, and then they need another land off the top. I mean, they would. Except that I have Ruinous Ultimate. In a perfect world for them, they would. But it's not a perfect world. Um, so I can get in for five. Sounds better. And a skull profit. Especially when they are doing Golos things. Hostage taker. Faithful Mending just to see what we can find here. Um...
I would like that again. Thank you. Looks like it might be an ETB deck. I see Terror and Hostage Shaker, so I'm thinking that they might have um, a Yarok in it. I see blue and black, so I think it's probably just a Yarok deck on ETB triggers. Good. Fine. Taking it. gonna get the skull profit because I do have enough. Thank you. Please release it. Appreciate that. Alright, we're gonna end our turn. So that means that those both go down. Fortunately, but... I don't know why I wanted this back so badly. I just wanted it. I mean, I think this is just game. Like, we just realistically opponent. We're just, we're just, you know, making the motions at this point. Oh, I guess I should have played the Hollowed Fountain. Oops. And they're out. I was I was just kind of going through the motions at that point, but you got to see at least uh, where the five actually got Zakama and Genesis Ultimatum. I actually couldn't play all of them. I used uh, the Ruinous Ultimatum just to kill their Elders Gargaroth because I was like, eh, may as well. But uh, I could have played. Let's see if I had shocked this in. Uh, one, two, three, I could have played one Disciple and still held up the Prismari command, so that would have been a better play. But, but. Lots of, lots of opportunities for me. Well, we're gonna keep playing. Go off the deck a little bit more. Maybe we can hide away some really fun cards. Okay, so we're going to be looking for, um, I mean, the five is really nice because instead of, um, you know, eight mana, you get to spend seven instead, but you also get another creature and the refund from both of them, so technically you're only casting it for five at that point and you get a creature. All right, I will keep this hand. Yeah. We have the Prismari to command to try to see if we can find some of our hideaways. Speaker. The Kama Mama, huh? Um, I guess we're just gonna go Skull Prophet first. We do have our Deafening Clarion, which is nice. Um, the Prismari command's also gonna be very important. So, realistically, we do block, right? We do block. Fortunately, I can't have enchantment removal. unfortunate.
Okay, Zakama can go and Skull Prophet. We haven't found our hideaway. That's okay. Well, we have our Zakama, which is nice. We just need to get up to Ulamog. Easy enough, right? Totally. I think we just hit them a little bit more. That also works, but I need one more mana for it. No, I need a little bit more than that. I need a bunch more. Alright. So they haven't gotten to four, which is why they haven't gone... Player class? Oh, that's really scary, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't even do that work. Osmos elixir, okay. Speaker and that okay. We can get there. I believe. Should I go draw and create a token? I guess we have to get up to the Runus Ultimatum, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll do it. Alright. Next turn, we got it. Even if they kill the creatures. It, it'll take us a little while, but... We're definitely gaining a lot of life and stuff, but I think we'll be able to stabilize after that. A oh, bop. I guess I should have. I don't know why I didn't choose that. That's okay. Um, 
Meeting of the five. I'm, I think we're just gonna push damage here. Voice of the Blessed. I just need another Ruinous Ultimatum. Oh, thank goodness. There it is. Go away. Go away, Mono White. Leave me alone. Oh my god, they have another Cosmos Elixir, please. Oh my goodness. Please. How many ruinous ultimatums can I play? Go away. All right. I don't want them drawing cards. Okay. Go away. Here it is! I have an Ulamog now! I hard-casted that! Sarah Ascendant. Okay. They are finally out. They're finally done after all of that. I had to destroy so many things. They had three Cosmos Elixirs. Uh, and their voices. I could have gone Inspired Ultimatum to kill something to go in, but honestly... It's fine. I wanted to make sure that they also didn't have the Cosmos Elixir and the Inspired Ultimatum would have only killed the Voice of the Blessed, so I'm I'm fine with just making it with the two. Um, we still had plenty of other things in the deck, um, and we would have drawn another five cards to find something out. I was looking for the Ulamogs for quite a while, but there we are. Ugh, how many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Please, you understand, you're mono white. All right, so um, I think we have enough time for one more. So hopefully we can get some good ultimatums out as our final hurrah deck. Except the game is bugged. gonna be a draw now and waste a whole bunch of my time game please and I can't I can't get out of it cancel game want to continue for one more game gonna lock me in here. Okay. Usually finishes- yeah, around now. There's the, uh, explosion. A draw.
but normally I can get out of it. There's no... Okay, it's locked me in. Let's turn off Arena and turn it back on again. Swear, chat. It does not want me to play this. This final game. Alright, so we should have enough time for one more game. So hopefully we can get our last really good one where we have a ton of ultimatums. Um, and show our stuff. All right, uh, we have our Fateful Mending, which is fine. Um, we don't have the white, but we'll get it from the Creeper. Soul Warden. But we do have the Creeper in order to get the Deafening Clarion as well. See, so it should be okay. Oh, oh. One more time! I sw Like, can you just not give me goblins or mono white or elves, please? Game, please. Oh, I, I just want one more where I'm not fighting a tribal. Lovely. Alright, so I think we have enough time for one more game. Hopefully we can get plenty of our ultimatums on going. Um, and be able to stabilize with that. Alright. This hand is fine. We'll keep it even though we don't have our fixing. It should be fine. Hey, we got our widespread off the top. That's lovely for us. Main investigator, okay. Um, oh, unfortunately, I can't actually play this. This has to come in tapped because, unfortunately, um, both the Sulphur Falls come in tapped and have a red source or a blue source. I might actually Devon and Clary on this before I do anything else. But also just get this going. Hey, you know what? Let's just do that. Let's get our widespread first. Give them one turn of doing damage. Huh, funny enough. Uh, we didn't get anything here, but that's okay. It still acts as a point. So we'll just take a land there. It still gets us treasure, even though we didn't find anything. And I didn't really want to put a widespread under a widespread. damage? Hey, there's another widespread. Ooh, do I get really greedy here? I'm thinking I'm getting really greedy here. I, mean, I guess it's just a straight up Genesis ultimate. Do I want a ruinous? Probably a ruinous just in case. I guess meaning does give us the option. Alright, we're gonna take another five. Ow. Take a bunch, actually.
Um, and I think we're gonna wait a turn after that. We get our widespread after it. Ow. Okay. The player meeting. The five. Decline, decline. That's actually the exact one I wanted, so that works. Uh, we gain life, it does five damage. Perfect. Decline, decline. Gain us a bunch of cards. Uh, we're gonna do damage and loot. So it's actually only one mana, technically, because it refunds it. Decline, decline. Uh, we're gonna throw this out, we're gonna throw this out. And... I guess we'll just hold up the Faithful. The Faithful Mending is gonna gain us life as well. That should be fine. Or we could just play Ulamog. Uh, this refunds itself, so I may as well just gain some life. Okay, and then brought that. Play it, Umog, and that and that. I'm gonna have to do my own things, opponent. If you're gonna do it, then you're gonna surrender. Alright, we'll end our turn. A uh, Deafening Clarion will also get me lifelink on the Ulamog. So I think that's fine. They were definitely a giant tribal deck. But you were able to see all of my stuff. Alright, we're, we're just gonna make sure that that also doesn't get... Alright, cool. Uh, but you got to see the power of getting the widespreads, especially if you have two of them out on the field. Um, two or four. You can get, every time you play a multicolored spell, you get four. So the treasure just keeps going. And it gets very out of control very quickly, especially when you're allowed to uh, draw extra cards um, with the... Inspired Ultimatum, you get life, you get to do damage, as well as you get to draw cards, which keeps you to be able to do this forever, um, just in case you run out of card draw. Um, the Faithful Mendings and the Prismari Commands are also for that way reason, just to gain as much uh, card advantage as possible, and the Deafening Clarions is to stay alive with the Life Link as well as the Faithful Mendings um, and that Inspired Ultimatum that I said. Um, either that, you get a Genesis Ultimatum, this Lots of options. Ultimatums is ultimatums, right? <sighs> so, um, that's kind of it. Uh, that was the deck in action. I hope you liked it. It is very, very janky, especially with all of the ultimatums that uh, you get off. And I just like the Ulamog, because hiding an Ulamog with the widespread is just extra fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel, comment, what you liked about this deck and what you might want to see in the future. And uh, until next time, bye YouTube! It should be over here. Bye YouTube!